Morning everyone. Welcome to Road Rodent Restore. I'm John. <laughs> showing you how I do my very easy pre-MOT checks before I take my bike to the MOT. So without further ado, let's get on with it. Okay then, so the first thing I'm going to do is <coughs> remove this top box so I can actually get round the bike. So all I have to do is stick the key in, twist it, press that button and press that button and off she comes and so now I can actually walk around the bike in my little small shed ok then so the first thing I'm going to do with a check on is the electrical system the lights, indicators, on, brake lights just switch out and dish it on obviously first thing I'll check is the indicators that one's working, so we're ok on this side, go to the other side, yep that one's working, and the back one's working, so that side's ok as well, I did actually put a, let me turn that off, I did actually put a beeper on mine, I need 4 quid from ebay, nice cheap easy fix for your indicators to remind you that you haven't switched them off. Next thing I'll press, press the on, see if that works. And no it doesn't. Why is the on not working? Just see the on there. Oh yes, and I can feel the wire there. I don't know if you can see that. <coughs> Find the terminal, put it back on. Works now. Beep, 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 beep. Yep, perfect. So now we can uh, switch the side lights on. Uh, low beam, high beam. Yes, they're both working. Dash lights are working. It's flasher work. Yes, the flasher works. So that's all the front lights are working correctly. Side light, main light, I beam. Uh, check the back lights. Put the side light on. Yes, I can just about see the reflection in the door. Just in case you can't see it, there it is. thing to check is brake light switches press our rear foot brake you can probably see it on the shed wall there so yes we know that's working fine yes definitely working fine we can try our brake lever if you could see down there in the middle on the shed door just flashing red so yes that's working perfectly fine just make sure all your switches are nice and free uh, not sticking kill switch not sticking, starter motor not sticking. If they are sticking, just give them a squirt with WD 40 through the. Uh, the worst switch that seizes up is the brake light switch, which is that little baby just there. So you can like, just take it off, it's just plastic with big plastic knots. Just connect it to your brake lever with a long spring. 
whip that out and give it a good clean up or just buy one off eBay they're not very expensive okay then so let's move on to the brakes make sure you've got plenty of brake pressure on your lever that's not spongy so in this check it would be really easier to get the front wheel off the off the floor if you've got a main stand it's all good because you could get a partner to lean on the back of the bike and lift the front wheel up so you can spin it but if you're like me and you don't end up have anybody to help you at the moment just get something to chuck under the exhaust or the frame we use an old bottle jack you can use an axle stand or anything you want really just push it under there then just give your wheel a spin make sure it's spinning fairly freely and then you can uh, press your brake to make sure it's not sticking brake on brake off brake on brake off make sure your wheel is spinning nice and free if your brakes aren't spinning nice and free what you could do is get a bucket full of soapy water and a little brush try and brush wherever you can in size and then rinse it all out with an hose pipe check to see if that does any good and if it doesn't then these will have to come off and have a good check over so while we're down here we may as well go to the wheel bearings just turn your wheel onto the lock and uh, say nine o'clock and three o'clock just give it keep it pressed on the side but keep it a nice tug to make sure there's no movement in the wheel you'll feel the movement in the wheel if you have a worn wheel bearing and you'll hear it when you spin it as well you probably feel it rumbling so that's that then we've got the uh, suspension fork seals make sure there's no leaking around the seals obviously because that will be a definite fail then we can go on to the uh, head stock bearings just grab hold of the fork while the bike is in the air just move them backwards and forwards to see if you can feel any play and there's no play whatsoever there so that's all good then we can move up to the top sure the steering is all nice and free no notchiness that's all good uh, levers as well make sure you've got four levers and they're not snapped off because sometimes they can be a failure if you've got snap, snapped brake levers tires obviously make sure you've got good tread and the uh, walls have no cracks in them same with the back tyre obviously and uh, same thing with the rear brake also make sure the discs don't have any deep grooves and they're not wearing out thin and of course they're not buckled <coughs> spin your back wheel make sure it's nice and free nice and free and pressure brake brake on brake off brake on brake off that is fine no sticking but also feel the wheel bearing to see if there's any noises or rumbling and the same get your hands in there one o'clock and five o'clock make sure there's no play there's no play at the bearings whatsoever you can also 
pull on the swing arm as well to make sure the swing arm bearings seem okay. Uh, make sure there's no leaking fluid around the pistons or around any joins on the pipes or the bleed nipples. And obviously check your exhausts or any holes or leaks or too loud so I think that's about it I know your bike's probably going to be all covered in mud and muck and months of road riding so first before you take it and check it give it a good clean with the hose pipe okay then when we've done all that we can uh, get our phone Call the MOT man and book the MOT. Hello, is that Mr. MOT man? Uh, good morning, could I book an MOT please for my motorcycle? Oh, perfectly splendid. Thank you. So there we go. MOT on Saturday, 11 o'clock. So the next time you see me, we'll be sitting on this riding down the road. Okay then, so where we are on the bike going for the MOT. I think I did forget one thing, rear suspension, you know, mono shock, twin shock, whatever you've got just bounce up and down on the back of your bike and if it shoots you into space it's no good so all that said wish me luck we will be pulling into the car park shortly okay so here we are in Bilbra and just down there is the MOT place Wait, where do you want? Yeah, Round the front. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you don't you? It's still £25, can't believe it. So yes, there we go, another year's MOT, so I'll see you back in the shed, Fred. Okay then, so here we are, back safe and sound, with another year's MOT. Perfectly splendid. And that was on the 6th of February. 2021. Hopefully you can see that. Looks like the camera's going a bit weird. So there we go guys. I hope that'll help you out on your MOTs, especially you doobies. Must be a pretty daunting feeling when it's your first MOT ever. Oh my god. So hope that's going to use some uh, knowledge on what to look for before you take your bike for its MOT. Hopefully it'll be useful to some people who are taking their bikes for the MOT in the near future. So thanks for watching, stay well, stay safe, 
but I'll see you on the next one. And if I don't see you on the next one... I'll see you in another life, brother.